I think shopping on television uh, has become popular over the last decade because people want to be able to buy good quality things out of the comfort of their own home. First broadcast in 1993, QVC is celebrating its 20th birthday. And with fans that include Prince Charles, Lulu and one million customers, the channel has evolved into the largest global retailer. My take on shopping, my husband Scott would say I'm a professional shopper. I'm pretty good, I like a good bargain, I like good quality. And that is one of the reasons why I, I come to QVC uh, to shop. Not only, but when I was filming, uh, you know, Doctor Who and Torchwood, or you know, I'd be in, uh, even in the States, Desperate Housewives and Arrow. Sometimes at night when I go home, I'll get into bed and I'll see what today's special value is that's come on at midnight and I'll check it out, and if it's something that I like, I'll order it. Sometimes on Saturdays and Sundays for uh, gardening and for DIY and for automotive stuff, so it's nice to tune in on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning after you've been out and you're sitting there with your bacon sandwich, put on your him roll-on under your eyes to cover the hangover, and uh, do a little uh, DIY shopping. I think the QVC shopper is very savvy. They're not bowled over by a celebrity who just comes on to be a celebrity. I am very passionate about my products. I'm very hands-on. The company is ours and we create the products for QVC. The most exciting thing about coming on QVC, you get the results immediately. Kelly Hoffman, MBE. Everything you're seeing, though, Kelly has created only for us here at QVC. Jackie's back. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely delighted to say good morning. Well, I'm just delighted. Roger Thank Moore. you. Good to see you Thanks too. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for asking me to be here. World's first supermodel. It's Twiggy. Hello. Hello. I'm excited it's finally here. In QVC. How is that? The man who was described as the chef's chef of the decade. So we thought we had to come to QVC. You too can wear my jewellery. Here I am backstage at QVC. Joy to be here tonight. It's very beautiful. QVC. Yeah, seriously. Well, sell me. Hi, I'm Bob Hope. You're watching QVC, the shopping channel. I'll be appearing on QVC, the shopping channel. Way. Oh, I shouldn't do that, should I? Yeah. Really? <laughs> When we started 20 years ago and we had no customers, we started by selling things that were easy to demonstrate and typically had fairly low price point. The thing that's changed over the years is that we've got many more brands. We've got luxury brands, particularly in beauty. We've got Elemis, we've got Liz Earle, who's been with us for, for nearly 20 years since her company was founded. People like Lulu Guinness, where the advantage of QVC is she can take a luxury brand and sell it nationwide without having to open a store in every town. Although I do go and visit my stores in Tokyo, New York, and I have four in London, from time to time, obviously I have a lot to do. So by appearing on TV and talking um, about my handbags with a lot of passion, which I can't help, um, it just suits me perfectly. I've been doing it for five years and I love it. For me, I'm a busy mom, I run a business and my shopping time or my girly shopping time as such is very limited and I know that is, is the same case with a lot of my contemporaries and a lot of my friends. It, TV shopping has grown because of the pure convenience of it. I think being on TV shopping is the best thing in the world. I think people that didn't start doing it five years ago, like me, are going to have to run and catch up because it's all going to meld into one. As you know, the web, the television, the mobile phone, the shopping channel, it's all going to be one and the same in the end. I think in the next 20 years we're going to be looking at uh, QVC being one of the major forces in retail, not only on television but online and, uh, you know, m maybe having a, a shop, a consumer shop in, uh, with their best selling products in some of the retail venues and malls around the world. I think that would be a good idea and if they haven't thought of that yet and if they have, I want a cut of it because that's the idea I've just given you now. <laughs>